what is the best printer for passport style photos? In this video, I'm going to discuss the five reasons why I picked and used the Canon Selfie printer. The first reason is the cost. The printer costs about a hundred bucks. You can get it on Amazon for maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I know that when I bought my printer, which was about a year ago, I got it on eBay. It was brand new. It might've been an open box, but it was new and it only costed me 50 bucks, which is a steal. You're also going to need the paper and the toner, the printer cartridges to print out photos and what that costs is about 30 bucks for a pack of 100, the 100 sheets to print, but you also get the toner ink. They're basically color film that prints out and you get 100 of them for 30 bucks. So, you know, it comes out to about 30 cents per sheet. So when you print your passport style photos, it'll come out to about 30 cents each. And if you do the math, it will pay for itself. You go to Costco, Walgreens, Walmart, wherever you can get passport style photos, it's gonna be anywhere from like 10 to 20 bucks. So if you were to think about it, I mean, you're not saving a ton of money. I mean, you gotta you gotta do ten of these to get a hundred bucks. You do a hundred of these, you get a thousand bucks. You do ten thousand, you get a thousand bucks. You do the math, uh, depending upon what your business is. The second point, the second point is time. So if you're a solopreneur, you're a small attorney, you're a small business owner. Time is money. Time, you know, you can do more cost efficient things. Your hourly rate is a hundred dollars. If it's less, whatever it is, you do the math. If it takes you ten minutes, twenty minutes to explain to the client where they need to go, what they need to do what they need to bring and then in coming back to receive them and getting that it may take you 10 20 30 minutes to do that and in that time if your hourly rate is under bucks you just wasted 50 dollars. in comparison if you do this on your own you could save time in that sense i think that is where the value comes in you know in terms of taking the photo and editing it out so that there's a white background. I can edit out a picture in about two to three minutes. Taking the picture, of course, connecting it, I'd say about a total of five to seven minutes, which is less than having them go and bring it back, talking, explaining, doing that photo editing software that I use. It's called Affinity Photo. I will put links in the video down below, but it's pretty straightforward on how you edit it out. I mean, just highlight face, the shoulders, the body. And then from that, you just, um, you know, erase paint over background so that it's white and it's pretty straightforward. You can refine for the hair article for the hair so that it looks as clean as possible. And it's pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing. There's other free options out there that do the same thing, but this is just what I use. The third point to consider is the quality of photos. So I'm going to be showing there's two different types. I've used the original Canon paper with the film that comes with it. And I've also used the off brand, the generic version. And I'm going to put two side by side so you can see which one you think looks better. It's, you know, you can compare the pictures with my son to see which one looks better quality wise. I mean, they both print out well, you can tell what it is. There's just basically like a color differentiation in terms of, you know, which is which. It looks fine. I bought the generic ones. I'm going to use them. I spent the 30 bucks. It's not a lot, but since I have them, I'm going to use them. The paper on the generic is a bit thinner. It's flimsier, whereas the original Canon paper, that is a bit stronger. It feels better. And then same thing with the generic, it comes with the toner, it comes with the paper, same thing with the Canon. I prefer the Canon, I believe it looks better, it feels better, and on the two pictures that you may be seeing, the one that has more of a reddish tint, that is the generic one. In my opinion, the one that looks truer to the actual photo, which may look a little bluer, once you compare them both, that is the Canon. On top of that, for whatever reason, with my printer, when I print out with the generic ink, the generic paper film. For whatever reason, there's a loud screeching noise that comes from the printer with the Canon original paper and the toner. There is no noise that is heard. So that's also a minor thing to consider. The, the, the quality though, like I said, there's not much difference. I believe the only reason that I could tell is because, you know, I have some knowledge with photo editing, with video editing, so I can tell with white balance and things like that. They're not gonna get rejected. I have not had any of these rejected yet. In terms of like the, the quality, it's not really gonna be 
basically because it's a printer because it's a photo that's so small they're four by sixes it's not an eight by ten it's a four by six you can go in your home and look at four by sixes and compare them with eight by tens since they're four by sixes there's not a lot of quality the picture's small you're not going to see all these little details you're not going to be able to see too much definition because of the size of it it gets the job done on top of the you know passport style photos i mean i print out family pictures and it's great it's a four by six prints out fine i mean whether it's from a photo taken from your phone or a camera because it's a small four by six photo and even smaller when you get into the passport style photos the fourth point is other pros other positives of the canon selfie printer next time you go to the ups or you might have noticed but ups they also use the canon selfie printer to print out their passport style photos i believe they just use some sort of small 100 200 camera take out the the memory card and then just put it into the printer and they print it out you can do the same thing if you just buy yourself and do it so that, that that's something to keep in mind another positive about the canon selfie printer is that you can print out pictures you know family or whatever it is besides the passport style photographs and the passport style photos i mean in the event you want you know four by six passport four by six family pictures you can get that the third one about the canon selfie printer is that it's small and it's easy to use it's not this big bulky printer you know that you got to worry about it's small i have it on my bookcase it's basically the size of a book it's of course thicker but it's small and then the last point is the cons about the canon selfie printer so as i was mentioning before before there is no ink cartridges There's, it's film they're all one time use so let's say on a 4x6 right you have the passport style photos the passport style photos do not cover the whole 4x6 it's maybe a half of the sheet maybe more maybe less but around there and basically it's my understanding the way those films work whether whatever prints on there only covers 20 or 30 percent that film of ink gets used up so if that film prints out you know one image that covers up the the hundred percent of that paper it gets used up there's nothing left if it only covers up 20 percent 30 percent 40 50 percent like the passport style photo it only gets it used up that much and the rest is just discarded and you know you're throwing away film that's not used con isn't going to affect you you know it's going to have no impact on the quality of the paper but if you're being you know eco-friendly conscious it might be a con unlike ink cartridges or toner you know of course that same issue happens but at least with that it goes from 100 to zero and you can see it, it gets all used up here that's not the case printers the, the canon selfie printer it's for a lot smaller use you can print out a lot of photos but it's just going to take you time for passport style photos i mean it's perfect it's small it gets the job done if you learned something, please let me know down below. If you have another question, drop them in the comments. Thank you very much. God bless you. And hopefully this helps you in finding out whether you want to purchase the Canon selfie printer. The last thing I'll say, I'll include affiliate links down below in case you're interested in getting this printer. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Thank you. It really helps this channel. Have a great day.